In June 2015, something quite remarkable happened in Europe. The European Central Bank closed down Greece's commercial banks during a terse negotiation between Greece and its creditors. The European Central Bank at the time and its president Mario Draghi claimed that they were doing their job impartially. They were not participating in the political process of asphyxiating the Greek government and that they were acting legally within the rule book of the European Central Bank. But is that the case? Clearly, the president of the European Central Bank, Mr. Draghi, was not sure about that. He was not sure about the legality of his actions. We know that because, apparently, he, he commissioned uh, a legal opinion from uh, an independent private law firm to find out if what he was doing was legal. Now, shouldn't we be able, as European citizens, to read that legal opinion? Fabio De Masi, a member of European Parliament representing Die Linke and the European Party of the Left, filed uh, an application to have this, uh, a copy of this uh, legal opinion. Mr. Draghi wrote back saying that he can't share the legal opinion that he commissioned uh, because of reasons of confidentiality and needing to protect the private law firm that had uh, um, delivered the report. Now, since then, Fabio and I contacted uh, a law professor, a professor of public European and international law from the University of Bremen, an authority in his field, who gave us his own legal opinion that Mr. Draghi has no leg to stand on in refusing access to the legal opinion that he paid for using European citizens' monies. DiEM25, the Democracy in Europe movement, is today beginning a campaign for collecting signatures to add to uh, a list, an array of signatories, demanding from the European Central Bank and Mr. Mario Draghi that he releases, on the basis of a mass freedom of information action, this legal opinion for all to see. Signatories of the DiEM25 petition uh, are Benoit Hamon, the Socialist Party's uh, presidential candidate in the forthcoming presidential election in France, Katja Kipping, the co-president, co-chair of Die Linke in Germany, Gesine Schwann, twice the SPD's candidate for the presidency of the Federal Republic of Germany, Fabio De Masi and myself, plus a long list of distinguished academics from Germany, from France, from the United Kingdom, from the United States. We want your support. We want you to join the petition that DiEM25 is uh, beginning, is commencing immediately, in order to force transparency to become uh, a matter of fact in Frankfurt. Remember, the European Central Bank has immense power. It has the power to close down your banks in Europe at the drop of a hat. If that power is used without transparency and arbitrarily, there is no democracy in Europe. Join us.